Hello and welcome to a special episode of the Two Shot Factor. Pennsylvania votes being counted fraudulently. I don't even have a title. I don't even have a script. But there's this guy named Toomey, Senator Toomey. Isn't there an X-Files title with that name? Let's take a look here. Hey, come here. I'm Senator Toomey. Did you count the votes fairly? He's got some problems with the votes. He's a Republican senator. In fact, they have two senators. That's the way it works. Apparently there's 100 senators down in the states. And we're talking, so one governor and two senators, a Democratic one and a Republican one. I'm just learning all this. I'm from Canada. Actually, you know, it's been kind of weird about these votes. Like, you might be thinking, like, who's bringing in some of these absentee ballots? Actually, we got a picture of uh, who's bringing them. I don't know why they let her drive that truck, but hey, it's America 2020. What do you expect? There were two interviews. One was with George uh, Panagopoulos on the uh, Good Morning America show, but I can't find that one. So we'll watch basically the same thing on the Today Show. I think that's what's going on there. Uh, he does, George. Uh, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but there is certainly still a path for the president. Uh, first of all, it's an extremely narrow lead. And I think we've got to remember that this process goes beyond you know the first vote count uh for instance in pennsylvania we know there are some minor irregularities because yeah, trump is behind now in pennsylvania and georgia with georgia's only got like four thousand votes left if that and he's behind by like a thousand plus votes those will have to be litigated there has been a terrible lack of transparency in the philadelphia vote <clears throat> counting process um and we have a, a rogue state supreme court that unilaterally decided to violate the u.s constitution and rewrite election law to allow ballots without a postmark to be counted days after the election. Well, I the doubt Supreme very Court much ratified that, 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 didn't they? No, they did not. No, George, they did not ratify okay, that. They said ago. by a 4-4 decision, they would not impose an injunction at that time, leaving the, the door open for addressing that in a subsequent case. I think that's likely to happen. And so, for instance, if it turns out that it is that category of ballots that create the margin of victory for vice president Biden. i don't i have no idea whether that's the case or not but that's the kind of thing that would have to be litigated so i think we've got a long way to go we've got to finish the counting and all legal ballots absolutely have to be counted and that takes as long oh, as it takes, takes so long. this this is going to be late too this is probably going to be like four or five hours after i did it at least Georgia might be called by then. It won't matter anyway. They're going to be counting votes in other states. That's only going to go from 253 to 269, though. He'll still be within one vote of winning. He won't, won't be official yet for Biden. There's probably going to be a valid, legitimate <coughs> recount, and then there will be legitimate litigation. Um, I just think that's the way it's going to go, and people need to be patient. We need to let this process play out. It was the president who said we should stop the counting, but I just, I, just a couple points there. Number one, the ballots that have come in so far do not include anything that was received after November 3rd, right now, at least in the uh, current. Uh, wait, hold on, George. Um, I'm, not, I, I'm not aware that that's the case, and I don't know how we could know that in Philadelphia since observers have not been given uh, the opportunity to get close enough to observe. Well, the Supreme so, Court ordered, I, I, ordered those I, I, observers to come in. And in fact, we've all been watching the count on television. George, I was talking to the Lieutenant Governor this morning, and he said there have not been any widespread I'm irregularities, no widespread evidence of fraud I, in Pennsylvania yeah, I, at all. George, I have acknowledged that. I have acknowledged that. I, I'm not aware of any widespread or any systemic fraud or anything of the sort. However, nobody can say with confidence that the ballots that are supposed to be segregated in Philadelphia are, in fact, being properly segregated because even this morning i spoke with the yeah. republican who's responsible for overseeing that process and he continues to be denied <clears throat> access to the point where you can actually see what's happening yeah they're in the room the room is the size of a small town court order they were like figure it out apparently the judge and he can't get close enough to see what's actually going on so all i'm saying is there are some unnecessary problems along the way we're going to have to get this resolved yeah, and, and one, of, one of the reasons this has taken so long and it couldn't be done earlier, of course, was because the state legislature in Pennsylvania said that you couldn't start processing the absentee mail-in ballots until Election Day itself. That's but I, right. but I, I, do, I do take your, your point, but let's, let's say we go through the process, we go through the canvassing, right. we go through the recount. Are you prepared right. to say, once that has happened, that this has been a fair and free election? George, look... <laughs> I voted for Donald Trump. I endorsed Donald Trump. The person that I want to be the next president is the person 
who wins the Electoral College legitimately. I think our system is absolutely going to enable us to do that, and I'm I'm going to accept the result. Okay, you see what I mean? The, the poll checkers, the, the observers, weren't uh, able to sit close enough to, to actually review this. It was really weird. That is kind of evidence, though. I mean, shouldn't there be, like, if they have poll reviewers from both sides, shouldn't they be able to be close enough? And they're saying, you can figure it out. The judge was saying that, but... It just seems so so bizarre. Over the limit, over the date, you know, they're they're late. These votes shouldn't some of these votes shouldn't count apparently. Unbelievable. Oh no. What the hell is going on here? Yeah. Hello? I uh, can just move your uh, black car over there. Okay. We don't have a black car. It's 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 no, it's your black car. Can you down here? Nobody has a black car. I don't have a black car. It's your dad's car. He doesn't have a car. This is out of control. Anyway, I'd like to keep talking more, but something about a car having to be moved. The landlord saying, I mean, I don't even own a car. How, how is there a black car that's mine? This doesn't make any sense. It's just so stupid.